In this video, we will continue with the sum of a geometric series. You will find this on page 61 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. How many terms in the geometric series will be needed so that the sum of the first n terms is greater than 2.65? Okay, now they say it's a GP, so if I find out, I'm just going to say T2 divide T1, and it's a quarter. So the value of R is a quarter. The value of A is 2. Now, I'm, the sum must be bigger than 2,6. So I just substitute it in everything there. It's just a formula that's a bit more challenging. But this is going to, let me just do it like this. This is going to be 8 over 3. I divide this side by 8 over 3 or multiply by 3 over 8. And then I'm getting um, this. Okay, let's just see. Okay, what I did in this case, because this was negative, I took it to the other side to make it positive. And then, as soon as I sub, I took logs on both sides, because it's a decimal, so you must go for logs. And then just test if log a quarter, what is log a quarter? So press in your calculator, log, <clears throat> one divide four plus, that's a negative. So as soon as I divide by a negative, what happens? The sign swap, and that's what happened there. Because I divide by log a quarter, and log a quarter always is negative. I should have made it a quarter there, but the quarter is 0, 0,25. So the inequality sign swap, and n is bigger, so you will need at least four terms to be greater. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number two. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. A geometric series has A, 2, or 3 over 2. So they tell you, find the greatest number of terms it can have without its sum exceeding. So it must be smaller. Okay, but this is nice. This is a nice one. They tell you... That the value of r, they don't give you the sequence, but they tell you, and they tell you the value of r is 1. So remember, it's 1 and a half, so it's bigger than 1. Okay, so they are saying, find it when Sn does not exceed, that it means smaller than 1 to 5. Now, because the value of r is actually 1.5, it's better to use this formula, Sn equals and now it's going to be a and I put the R's in front so basically if I'm going to go on I'm just going to substitute it now so in the place of a I put 2 in the place of R I put uh, 1.5 or 3 I make it 1.5 I think maybe it's easier and it's 1.5 minus 1, and it's smaller than 1, 2, 5. Okay, so if I say 1.5, I think the best is first to simplify that. So it's 0 0.5. So basically, I'm just going to divide that one with 0 0.5. So without it exceeding. So that is why... I was putting in without some exceeding. So it can be equal. It can be equal. Okay, but I think at the end it will cancel out. So let's just divide this side or multiply. It's actually multiply this side with 0 0.5. Okay. Or I think the best will be if I say 2 divide 0 0.5 and then I will get that 4. And now I'm going to divide by 4, and I divide by 4. So I get 1.5n minus 1, smaller than equal, and then 125 divide 4, and that's 31.25. And then I add that 1. Okay, let's just see. 1.5n. And if I add that 1, it's going to be 32.25. And now I can take the logs on both sides. Let's just move it up. 
So log 1.5n log 32.25. So bring the n down. Now, now I must first do the test. If I press on my calculator log 1.5, I, I get a positive number. Um, I can show you here. So I got log 1.5 is equal to 0 0.176 da da da, but it's positive. And if it's positive, the inequality sign stays the same. And then I take my calculator and I just press log 32.25 divide log 1.5 equals and I get 8 points so n is smaller than equal to 8.566 da 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 let's just move up again so if it's 9 so it must be smaller it cannot be bigger so the first the whole number that's smaller is going to be 8 so therefore the sum of eight terms in the series will not exceed one, two, five. Okay, so actually this equal sign was not necessary because it cannot be, usually it will not give you a whole number. So you could have left it out, it didn't influence your uh, final answer, but you can also leave it there.